Hey, what's going on, my little ponies? I'm Sully Pones, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. In the previous episode, we started on the second level of this game, Rico Harbor. So today, my friends, I'm going to be obtaining the last few shines in Rico Harbor, and hopefully starting on the next level of this game. But before we begin, if you guys could do me a huge favor and hit that like button for me, I would really appreciate it. Let's try to get this video to over 1,000 likes, because guys, as per usual, if we can, I will post the next episode of this game immediately if you guys want to see it tonight. And by all means, leave a like and you can get the next video tonight before you go to bed. But yeah, the next star on the list is going to be red coins of the water, or on the water, I should say, not of the water. They're not really, they don't belong to the water or anything. They just are so happy to be placed on water, which is the reason why it's called red coins on the water. Uh, I really wish I actually did the last two stars in Rico Harbor in the last episode, just because now that I think about it, they are really easy stars to obtain. At least this one, as far as I can remember, was pretty easy. I haven't done it in years, so I don't know how it's going to play out, but hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to do it. And I was told if you actually use the yellow uh, squid, things will go, or the squid will go really fast, so you don't want to do that unless you're like a daredevil or something, then by all means, feel free to use the, ooh, there we go, I missed the second one, well, that is amazing, let me try to get this one, if I miss this one, I'm, there we go, if I missed that one, I would have been screwed, that would have sucked, okay, there was one right there, I'm pretty sure where all eight of them are, like, I know where all eight of them are, um, so I'm just gonna backtrack once I get this, and then I'm gonna go around and try to get them all again, okay, so it looks like, do I see, I see one, okay, there's one underneath that little pathway, and then there's gonna be one in between two little boats over there, there's a blue coin right there, there's actually a couple blue coins in this area, actually a majority of them are located around this area right here, but we're not gonna get those just yet, so I wanna do a quick loop-de-loop -loop around here just to get the perfect, uh, perfect turn, I guess you could say, there we go, that's the sixth one, and the seventh one's right here, and then the eighth one, I'm pretty sure I skipped over, which is technically the fourth one on the list in terms of collecting them when you collect them in order. And there we go! Like I said, it was pretty easy. I always knew this one was really easy. But again, if you use any of the other squids, like the yellow one, for example, you're actually going to go really fast. And uh, to me, it's, it's much more difficult playing it like that as opposed to playing it with the green squid, which is... Uh, very, very nice and easy pace, you know, he's going nice and slow, it's at a it's at a good pace, not a slow pace, not a fast pace, just a neutral pace, you know. So now, to get the shine, this is always the toughest part about doing this mission, is to get the shine, because usually when you try to jump at this point, you, he slows down massively, what the heck? That is not how I remember the squid jumping. Alright, let's try that again. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Wait, what? I switched squids? I'm now with the yellow one. Look how fast this dork is going. Oh my god, this is so fast. And what happened to the green one? He must have died or something. I really don't know. Because there is a squid missing. But that is it, my friends. The 15th. 15th. The 15th. What the heck did I just say? The 15th shine in this game. Uh, like I said, you know, this is a very easy shine to obtain. And the next one, if you thought this one was easy, oh my god, wait till you see the next shine. This is going to be a joke. I mean, some of you guys are really going to hate me for not doing this one in the last episode. Um, the, the reason why I say I should have done it in the last episode is because, um, now that we're technically done with Rico Harbor, I would have rather, uh, waited to do the next level in its own episode, but since there are only two shines that I can obtain in this level, I'm gonna have to just break my rule and do the next episode or the next world, I guess. Um, so that's what we're gonna have to do, but this is a very, very easy shine to obtain. We pretty much have to, sh uh, chase Shadow Mario. Shadow Mario Revisited. Ooh. That sounds scary. Look at him with his paintbrush and everything. But look at it. This is how easy it is. I swear to God. Watch. Oh, yeah. Oh, you like that? You like water in your face? And there you go. He's dead. He actually died way quicker than I thought he would. Usually, he dies up at that uh, part where you jump on the cage. That's normally where he dies at. But for some reason, he decided to die right now. He just gave up. He was like, you know what? There's no point in running in this fight because I'm going to lose anyways. So let me just give myself up and, and move on. And he did, he did the smart choice, because I would have seriously hurt him badly. Not that I normally hurt people, but... Shadow Mario knew what was up. He knew that he was bested in this situation. But yeah, 
we actually completed the rest of Rico Harbor. Like I said, the eighth shine is a shine that we can't obtain just yet. So we're going to save that for later. We're going to revisit. So instead of Shadow Mario revisited, it's going to be Mario Sunshine revisited. That's not his last name, is it? His name is like uh, Mario Di Luigi. No, that's not. That's not it either. I really don't even know if Mario has a last name or not. He probably does because, you know, he is Mario. Every person on this planet has a last name. They're not just named one name because then that would be very confusing and it would be very hard to identify people. But moving on to level three, this is actually a very, very fun place. It's uh, known as Gelato Beach. That is right, Gelato Beach. Gelato is, I believe, French for ice cream, I think. Unless Gelato is something like ice cream. It's like the more, it's like the richer, uh, more genuine, like the, the fancy kind of ice cream where it's actually made. I, don't, I really don't know because sometimes I'll go to stores and like, you want some gelato? It's like, isn't that ice cream? No, gelato is different. Have a try. And then I taste it. It just tastes like thicker ice cream. I don't really know. But it's gelato beach and, you know, we have to kill this piranha plant. It's like, you know, we've never done this before. He's once again coming out of this mucky ground with, uh lots and lots of mud on him and there is did we kill him nope he still has phase two there's a toad man i feel bad for that toad wait is that it if you hold down r until it clicks okay actually that's not what i'm looking for I'm trying to save my boy toad here he's dying unless he's already dead which would which would suck because i don't think there's a hospital nearby to save this little fella probably not okay come on come on dude suck my water suck my water there we go yeah now i can what how did he hit me? How did he get that hidden? I don't even know. But once again, we have a nice, clean level popping out of the ground just like that. It's, uh, it's uh, called a lighthouse. Let me clean this toad. Oh, he's nice and clean, but he still has mud in, inside his ears and whatnot. But yeah, let's... Oh, yeah, I forgot. I have to spray this level down. Oopsie-daisy. I completely forgot about that. That's something that I'm going to probably forget a lot in this game. I'm going to shoot down the levels before entering inside of them. But yeah, welcome ladies and gentlemen to Gelato Beach, Dune Bud Sandcastle Secret. The first shine in this episode, or in this uh, level, is very easy to obtain. It's the only shine that I'm going to obtain in this episode because, like I said, you know, I really want to be able to do uh, each level in its own episode, like on YouTube, not like episode as in shines, but each level in its own episode. And uh, since we only did two shines, I feel like it's only fitting to do one more, just to make it like... I guess somewhat fulfilling and then in the next episode we will complete the rest of gelato beach or we, I should say technically start on gelato beach but as you can see we have those uh cataquacks I don't I have no idea if that's what they're called or something like that they were in Super Mario Sunshine and my god they were tedious and they're just as tedious in this game they will chase you down and they will try to just smack you in the air they will get annoying because as soon as they target on you and they start hitting you in the air, they will continuously do it over and over and over again until you want to cry. So just stay out of their ways and uh, you'll be good. You'll be golden. You'll be clear. But yeah, a little uh, sandcastle appeared out of nowhere. It's a very nicely built sandcastle. I could never build something like that and keep the sand like, you know, in, in position like that without it falling and crumbling down on me. But Shadow Mario stole Flood from us again, so what will we do without him? Oh, well, that's a very good question you asked. We're going to beat this level without him. This is actually more so one of the easiest, uh, like, one of the, what do they call? I don't even know what these levels are called in this game. What are they called, guys? If you know what they're called, let me know. But th these levels, you know, this one compared to all the other ones that we've done so far is actually really easy. Like, super easy. It's like you're just running on sand and the sand is somewhat collapsing. I don't know why, but these all of these levels remind me of Super Mario Galaxy. Like, they really do. It's probably because we're in a galaxy. Oh, God. Okay, I think I... Oh, Jesus. I screwed up. Oh, Jesus. I can come back from this. I can come back from this. I can come back from this. Okay, so the yellow blocks are safe points, but you don't want to stand on them for too long. You just want to keep going with your momentum. And jam! We got this! I don't know why I yelled out jam like that, but we got the shine. Not even bad. I didn't even die once. You know, this was a very good episode. I just sped through all of the shines super easy and quick. Now, if only I know how to play the entire game like this, that would be really fun. But I don't. And most of these shines are probably going to give me trouble. Whoa, what is this? Made the, the game lag a little bit. But it looks like a Bowser Cruiser. Well, we're going to find out sooner or later. But for now, like I said, guys, we are going to end off the episode. 
Uh, next time, we are actually going to be completing the rest of Gelato Beach. And I think there's going to be six or seven Shine Sprites at the most that we're going to actually have to collect. Uh, it's not going to be five or anything. I'm going to try to collect pretty much all the Shine Sprites in Gelato Beach. So, in the following episode, episode number seven, uh, well, wait, that would be episode number seven? It would be episode number seven. We'll actually be able to do the next episode after that, or the next level, I should say. So, yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, remember, leave a like, and maybe you guys will be able to get the next episode tonight before you go to bed. So, thank you for watching once again, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.